MJ a day strange loop saw Tony Award glory translate into box office surges in the week after the June 12 ceremony, with MJ a leaping by $216,921 over the previous week's take to a huge $1,660,978. A strange loop grossed $845,313 for the week ending June 19, a jump of $168,998 over the previous week. Both shows were virtual sellouts, with more than 99% of seats occupied in the week following their Tony wins. Among their victories, A Strange Loop was named Best Musical, and MJ's Miles Frost was named Best Actor in a Leading Role Musical. Both productions gave impressive performances during the Tony broadcast, with Frost and Strange Loop's Jack Will Spivey delivering star making network TV debuts. Related story Tony Winning Company Revival Announces Broadway Closing Another big winner of the week, The Musical 6, which took home Tonys for original score and costumes and, as importantly if not more so, delivered a rousing performance during the ceremony. For its seven performances, the musical grossed $1,171,935, filling 99.5% of available seats. Other Tony winners saw less notable financial gains, with Company, named Best Musical Revival posting a July 31st closing notice tonight after selling only 77% of available seats in the week after the awards. The musical, starring Katrina Link and Tony winners Patti Lapone and Matt Doyle, grossed $727,178 for the week, an improvement of $86,881 over the previous week. Paradise Square saw a noticeable bio jump, up $124,523 to $387,670, with every penny almost certainly attributable to the Tony win, and show-stealing performance of the anthem Let It Burn, of Best Actress slash Musical Waki Nakalu Kango. Still, the musical, which didn't overly impress most critics, filled only 64% of its available seats in the post-Tony week. Overall, Broadway box office for the week ending June 19 totaled $29,523,307, a drop of about 7% from the previous week, a dip at least partly due to two fewer shows on the roster. 29 productions compared to the previous week's 31, How I Learned to Drive and Take Me Out had closed the previous week. Also taking a toll on the week's receipts was the absence of Hugh Jackman, due to a positive Covid test, from The Music Man, the hugely popular musical revival was down by $1,631,334, grossing $1,780,050 and filling only 71% its usually sold-out house. Still, the revival hit a solid mark during the week, gross ticket sales surpassed $100 million for the engagement thus far. Funny Girl, another recent COVID-struck production, took in $1,131,490, rebounding by $14,795 as star Benny Feldstein returned for a partial week of performances while also announcing her late September departure. In their 
final weeks of performances, Hingman grossed $358,976, while Girl from the North Country took $342,228. Season to date, Broadway has grossed $124,014,910, with total attendance of 961,115 at about 83% of capacity. The 29 productions reporting figures on Broadway last week were Aladdin, American Buffalo, Beetlejuice, the Book of Mormon, Chicago, Come From Away, Company, Dear Evan Hansen, Funny Girl, Girl From the North Country, Hades Town, Hamilton, Hangman, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, The Lion King, Macbeth, MJ, The Minutes, Moulin Rouge, Mr. Saturday Night, The Music Man, Paradise Square, The Phantom of the Opera, Plaza Suite, Bodice, Six, A Strange Loop, Tina, and Wicked. All figures courtesy of the Broadway League.